The U.S. economy is in a good place, and the baseline outlook is favorable. The median expectation in the most recent summary of ex economic projections by the committee is for GDP growth to be around 2% in 2019, and for growth to continue at this pace next year, and for inflation to rise gradually towards our symmetric 2% objective. The unemployment rate at 3.5% is at a half century low, and wages are rising broadly in line with productivity and underlying inflation. There is no evidence to date that a strong labor market is putting excessive cost push pressure on price inflation. But despite this favorable baseline outlook, the U.S. economy does confront some evident risks in this, the 11th year of economic expansion. Business fixed investment has slowed notably since last year. Exports are contracting on a year-over-year -year basis, and indicators of manufacture, manufacturing activity are weakening. Global growth estimates continue to be marked down, and global disinflationary pressures cloud the outlook for U.S. inflation. U.S. inflation remains muted. Over the 12 months through August, PCE inflation is running at 1.4%, and core PCE inflation is running at 1.8%. Turning now to monetary policy, at both our July and September meetings, the FOMC voted to lower the target range for the federal funds rate by 25 basis points. With these decisions, the current target range for the federal funds rate is 1.75 to 2%. And this compares with the range of 2 and a quarter to 2.5% that prevailed between December 2018 and July of 2019. The committee took these actions to provide a somewhat more accommodative policy in response to muted inflation pressures and the risk to the outlook that I mentioned a moment ago. Looking ahead, monetary policy is not on a preset course, and the committee will proceed on a meeting-by-meeting -meeting basis to assess the economic outlook as well as the risks to that outlook, and it will act as appropriate to sustain growth, a strong labor market, and a return of inflation to our symmetric 2% objective.